Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video we are going to test a uh, Sane Smart uh, Diode Laser and we plan to show you a few very useful improvements. So we have a power meter, uh, field best and uh, it's calorimeter. The idea is very simple. Uh, when heat reaches uh, the sensor, you see you can uh, see the measurements of uh, here so this is very useful tool if you have a laser or uh, you're building your laser so you can uh, find out a real power so uh, we have uh, three element lens installed here this is a laser driver we will check it out uh, probably in our in, uh, in our next video so we need to plug it in Okay, we have power, and let's um, let's put as close as we can, uh, and let's turn it on. So you see, numbers um, are growing now, and um, yeah, it says that uh, the power, uh, laser power, is. Uh, 5,500 milliwatts, so it's equal to 5.5 watts. So, as you can see, it hardly reaches 4 watts, so that's pretty much 4.1 maybe, and it does not grow anymore. So, that's not uh, 5.5 watt but there could be a nuance because three element lens is not very efficient so let's uh, add a g2 lens so we will unscrew uh, remove three element lens we have a video showing how you can test a lens about their efficiency how to focus them all you can find on our channel and the nuance that we need to uh, to put this lens as closer as possible to a laser diode Oops. be careful because fans are not covered it's not good as well but keep in mind then when you add lens that it will not hit, hit the diode itself otherwise uh, the lens can be broken and those notches uh, I don't know if you can see them let me focus it okay. those notches should be outside okay and let's turn on and check the power now I'm pretty positive that with this lens the result will be better. I'm not sure that it will be significantly better, but as you can see, numbers are growing. And yeah, 4.5, maybe 4.6. So it's still less uh, than it's advertised. So it's, it's 850 milliwatts less. And as you know, endurance lasers, for example, 10 watt is also CV power closer to 7, 7.5, but you can run it in impulse mode and you can get uh, higher power, higher energy out of it. So we showed in our videos how you can change uh, due to ratio and um, pulse widths actually and frequency and get higher power but here you see that uh, the power is not growing and that's pretty much uh, maximum so uh, what you can actually do with this laser so I don't need driver anymore so uh, you can upgrade your laser with an air nozzle this is endurance production so this is a version 2 air nozzle you can simply uh, we also have a video on our channel showing how you can 
add a nozzle to your uh, lace. It's, it's not complicated, but um, yeah, let me show you. So also we check that notches are outside. We screw it like this and now we can add it here. Yeah, so then you need to focus it. It's quite, well, not very easy, but uh, once you learn how to do it properly, shouldn't be a problem. So now you have an air nozzle. It's uh, air nozzle version two, and it's good for g lens. Another uh, option that you can add G7 and G8 lens. So for those lens, you need an ex um, extension. We call it a spacer extension because uh, these lens have to be moved a little bit uh, far away from the diode itself. So then you need a spacer. Um, so you add the lens here. You have a spacer and you put it like like this and uh, now you can run your laser with g7 and g8 lens and you have we also offer an extended version of an air nozzle so it's also uh, version 2 but it's extended especially for those types of lens so you can add it like this that's not very difficult construction and yeah so it's pretty much it probably will make another video showing how you can operate chinese uh, laser with g2 lens and air nozzle version one and uh, our extended air nozzle with g7 and g8 uh, laser lens and if you want a compressor we suggest you highly a compressor uh, they are quite the uh, yeah they have, you know uh, they have different models and what you need to take care of is a uh, capacity so we recommend to use at least 60 or 70 liters uh, per minute capacity so that's enough airflow uh, to get clean and accurate uh, laser cutting. So I'm not uh, quite positive how this laser will operate. We need to check it out and see how stable power will be. So we don't uh, know yet, but uh, as far as we know from our customers that most Chinese lasers, they do not last for a long time. So they have a problem with, uh, uh, with power stability and quite often diodes uh, get burned in a week or two or something. So that's uh, according to our customers' feedbacks. That's why people come to Endurance and try Endurance uh, lasers. They are more powerful. And we also provide an ultimate uh, support uh, almost 24-7 uh, when I'm not sleeping. I always uh, try to answer questions on our Facebook and uh, on our site live chat so you're welcome to visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com you can find there our air nozzle all these two types you can find spacer and we have all lens uh, available so thank you for watching and have a wonderful experience with endurance lasers and with endurance accessories bye bye